This year's Christmas celebration has been unique in several ways. It witnessed the inauguration of the largest Orthodox cathedral in the Middle East. The birth of Jesus Christ Cathedral is built on an area of 15 hectares and can host 9,000 worshippers. It was constructed in two years and funded by donations from Egyptians. This is a great day because we opened the largest cathedral in the Middle East and it shows our gratitude as a community to the Copts. We had the largest cathedral before in Abaseya in Cairo. Now, this cathedral in the administrative capital is even bigger and is built next to the largest mosque in Egypt, a sign of unity between the Egyptians. From the beginning of the day, we are in a festive mood in every house, in the streets, with the people, everywhere. It's a feeling of love between us all. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended the Christmas Mass. In his short speech, he emphasized the need for unity against extremism and terrorism. When we protected our nation from terrorism, we did not just fix the damaged areas, but we managed to build new ones as well. We are building 14 new cities with new churches and mosques and everything else. So, we should learn, as the Holy Pope has said, we must be united, we must be aware, we must be protective and take good care of our country. I repeat, we must take good care of our country. Don't forget ever to protect your country. When we take care of it, we will achieve the impossible. Orthodox Christmas comes a day after a bomb killed one police officer at a church in Cairo. <laughs> As we celebrate today, we must remember the martyrs who sacrificed their lives for us and for Egypt. We remember and pray for their families, especially Officer Mustafa Abid, who was martyred in the line of duty. We pray for his family and his loved ones, and we pray for the injured as well. May God bless Egypt. For the first time, the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, the highest scholar in Islam, gave a speech inside the cathedral. It was a message of solidarity. Islamic law guarantees the safety of all the Christian churches and Jewish temples. This is according to Islamic Sharia law. The Islamic law orders Muslims to protect mosques and at the same time orders Muslims to protect churches. This is not just my words, but it's clearly laid down in the Holy Quran. Unlike the Catholics and Western Christians who celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December, the Eastern calendar applied by the Orthodox Copts marks the birth of Jesus Christ on January 7th. They break their 43-day fasting and hold the annual Christmas Mass on the eve of the 7th of January. It was not only a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. The event highlights the harmony between Muslims and Christians through tough times in Egypt. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.